Hello everyone and welcome to Elise Little Things. I would like to share with you some of my prop designs I have done for my shop. Mm. I, would like I would like to start off with my cupcake box that I designed on the ZBrush software and then I transferred the design to my support software which is called Cura by putting support on the design so that the design can grow on the build plate so you end up with a finished piece. I love printing out props because I find it that you can design things for costume and for Halloween so you can have something unique that no one else has. And after printing you can also paint the filament the same way you paint the miniatures but right now I haven't started painting my props yet so this is one of the props that's a cupcake and I will show you just now. This is it here. It's in different colours because of the filament. The filament was in rainbow colour, but I actually wanted to paint it all like as a cupcake, like with the cherry at the top being red and then the candies in the top of it. I just think it looks really cool and I love the shape and the idea wasn't to actually be a box, it was just to be a full cupcake, but then I decided just to split it in half and you can just put things inside it. And another prop from my collection um, it's called Fungus Pumpkin Mask. It's based on Halloween, as you can see. This is it here. I love it. I think it looks so cool. Um, on the design is a spider, which I put at the top. And also I put some pumpkin seeds on the design as well. And then I decided to put some honey dripping down the mask as well to give it that kind of slimy effect. But I love it because it's based on Halloween, you can wear it on Halloween, and you can have something different that no one else has. The other design is called Candy Cane and this is another fun piece for me to create as I was trying to again capture the way of Christmas by adding candy canes on the design and I wanted to give it that touch of Art Nouveau as that's my favourite design. Okay. Now this is something a bit different, I tried to capture the medieval style to this design um, it's called Cobra Cup and I like how different this piece is to the rest as the cup was designed to a more flat surface design and I thought by adding the snakes on the design will make the cup look more scary and fantasy looking it would look great as part of a Halloween display I print all my designs in the grey resin that's why it's that colour and you can just paint on top of it so this is how it looks as you can see the two snakes each side. I tried to put um, teeth on it but unfortunately didn't really work out but um, I love it though. I love the design, the little balls at the bottom and I love the tails how they're wrapping around um, the cup. We have another design called Norse Seahorse Shield and Sword. This design is great as part of a costume, for instance, a warrior for decoration. I scaled the design to a smaller scale as it will be quicker for 3D printing. But the great thing is you can scale to any size that you want to incorporate and you can also add foam. So this is it here, it's in two parts obviously for 3D printing so it will be easier to print. Um, and also we put some keys at each corner of the design so that way it can actually connect onto the surface of the design. So it's like this basically, see, just clicks on like that, but I love the little seahorse at the front, the little balls and the kind of swirly nouveau kind of design, and that's the back of it with the handle. You obviously just glue this together in, in place and that's the little shield, but obviously you can scale it bigger. It, I just scaled it smaller for printing it just to save material. We take the bottom part off, that one's glued on pretty tight. But this here has got little locks in it, so you can just click it in like this, like that, and just glue it in place. There's another one that is called Wizard Wand, and the inspiration came from watching Fantastic Beasts movie. I love the flow of the design, and this is it here. I've added a little key at the bottom of it. You can take it out, but I've put it in pretty tight. And then in here is where the key goes inside. So I just kind of bullying this from um, from inside on the ZBrush. And it just connects together like this with glue. 
that's how it looks with the Nouveau design around it and the balls. I love how organic and light this piece is. They'd have to glue it together anyway, but yeah, that's how it looks. The next design was a very exciting design as I was trying to implement Art Nouveau design style with the twists and somehow ended up looking like bones, so I decided to go forward with the bone effect and add animal eggs on it. I love the headpiece as this was my first prop I ever did. I thought it looked something like what a fantasy queen would wear from a movie. The thing about the design is I can only print it in parts as it's such a big piece that my printer isn't big enough to print the whole thing. My other design is called Ice Queen Crown. It was actually based on the movie The Snow Queen from 2002 film. I wanted to represent the Snow Queen, of course, winter by making the crown look a, a bit like spiky icicles. I have to say it was, a, it was a bit too spiky and I added some stone settings on the crown as I studied jewellery design so I knew how to design settings that would work for this crown. The great thing is you can paint this to look like real ice or change the filament to a transparent colour and paint the stones. So this is how it looks. As you can see, I did some rub over settings around it, some claw settings, then another rub over for the stone in the middle, and this is meant to represent the icicles. And this is what it looks like. It's too small for me though, but um, you can obviously scale it to any size. I just scaled it too small for my head, but you can scale it bigger, paint it all. And it's a great accessory to add to a Halloween costume. For instance, if you wanted to uh, dress up as a queen, snow queen, or any Disney princess, it would work for that as well. I would like to show you my armor design I have done. Unfortunately, I haven't printed it this one. It was a bit more challenging as I had to deal with different parts to fit all the body as there was a lot of sizing to deal with and I couldn't make it tight as there had to be a bit of a gap between the body and the armour for movement. The other design is my favourite, it's called Under the Sea Treasure Chest. The inspiration came from Pirates of the Caribbean and A Little Mermaid. I wanted to capture everything that is related to, to the sea. Well that's everything guys in my props collection. Um, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified on new upcoming videos. See you all later. Bye.